Hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top 11 things you should never do. A YouTube video. Excuse me. So these are things that um, you never should do in a YouTube video when you're first starting out YouTube. And these are the common things that a lot of people make mistakes with when it comes to doing YouTube videos videos and um, it makes it harder for people to actually film videos when these mistakes happen and um, hopefully this video will be helpful to you guys I actually got this idea from Taylor Moon here on YouTube she made a video all about things you should never do in a YouTube video and if you guys would like to see her video, I'll leave a link to it down below. And she does some pretty good examples. Like she's pretending to be a new YouTuber, pretending to look in the viewfinder. Like she gives really good examples of what not to do when you're filming a YouTube video. So I'm gonna get started. Started. And if you guys have any tips for new YouTubers, please let me know down in the comments below because then that could be helpful. Full, so I'm gonna get started. So number one on my list would have to be don't look in the viewfinder. So let's pretend um, my camera has a viewfinder. So um, this is my phone actually. Sorry. Um, so this is my phone actually. And um, as you can see, you can see my, my face. And when you have the viewfinder flipped over, um, you're looking at more into the viewfinder rather than paying attention to your audience. So that's not a very good thing. Um, you never want to look in your viewfinder when you're filming a YouTube video because it doesn't seem to your audience that you're interested in having your audience. Um, it's more important to actually look at the actual camera itself rather than the viewfinder because then, um, because it's very, very distracting when you're looking more into the viewfinder rather than the actual cam, the actual audience on YouTube. Tube. So you never wanna look in the viewfinder because it's very, very distracting. Number two on my list would have to be, have, don't be, never have your back facing um, to the camera. So that is not only rude, but it also makes your audience not feel like you care about making a YouTube video for them. It's not, it's just not a very good thing to do. And it's not really a good thing is like when you're trying to talk to your audience, um, it's a, not a, okay, so it's not a very good thing to have your back facing the camera because it's not only rude, but it shows your audience that you don't really want to talk to them. So it's always important to have like your face facing the camera. So I'm going to show you guys an example. Hi guys, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. If you didn't already, I post every day of the week. Wow. So that is one thing that is never good to do, to do on YouTube is you never should have your back facing the camera because it's very rude and um, it shows your audience that you don't want to talk to them. It's not very um, polite. So if you want a really good audience, make sure you're always facing your camera rather than have your back facing the camera because camera, it shows your audience that you really care. Number three on my list would have to be, be you should never wear your school clothes, the, never wear clothes that have the name of your school or work on them. So that is so important because if you work at a local place, place, um, if you work at a local place um, and you wore your, like, your shirt that had the name of your work on there, that's not a very good thing because once people find out where you work, they can easily track you down and stuff, and it's not a very good thing. And um, there are a lot of people here on YouTube watching your channel. Oh, and once um, one person finds out where you work, then everyone's going to figure out where you work, and you don't want somebody weird finding out where you work because... Um, 
because, um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fade, because um, it could be a really uncomfortable stalker, and that's not a good thing. Thing, and you never want to wear things that have the name of your school on there because people also can track you down when they find out what school you go to. So you never want to wear any type of clothes that have names of your school or your work on there if it's a local place. Chains are fine as long as they don't know the address of the chain you work at or the city it is in. Number four on my list would have to be don't play with your hair hair while filming a video. So you, you never want to play with your hair while filming a YouTube video because um, it's not only distracting for you, but it's very distracting for your audience because they literally like will not pay attention to your video. They think that you don't care and it's not a very good thing to just play with your hair while while doing a YouTube video because it's just like you don't seem really interested in filming a video for your viewers. Viewers, oh, it's always important to keep your hands away from your hair. I mean, I will technically just move my hair around, but I won't like play with my hair like this or twirl it while I do a YouTube video because I know that's very distracting and a lot of people don't like when people twirl, people play with their hair while doing YouTube because a lot of people get super distracted by that. Number five on my list would have to be, you should never scratch yourself on a video so that is not even if you have have like an itch that's bothering you it's never good to scratch on camera because it'll make you look very very weird and it's not a comfortable thing to do on a youtube video video so the best thing to do is you do have a, um to have to scratch have um to scratch an itch always make sure you pause the video so people don't see it Number six on my list would have to be you should never film in the dark. Now, filming in the dark is a really bad thing because then, because depending on your sun lighting in your room, room, the lighting can be bad depending on where the sun rises in your house around your room. It's like not a very good thing to be filming in the dark, especially at nighttime. So I'm going to give you guys a good example. So you guys can't see me now. So this is like a not a very good thing to film is because it is super dark in my room right now and you guys cannot see me at all. Oh, so if you're trying to film and it's nighttime, make sure you have good lighting in your room while you're filming. So if you guys watch like my older videos here on YouTube, you know that the lighting in my old bedroom was really, really bad because I had a dark color in my room, a dark fuchsia color in my room and anytime I filmed at night it would be super dark like especially if I did my knitting tutorials you couldn't even see my hands and when I would sit down and do talking videos or if I sat at my desk the lighting would be quite bad so um I had and a lot of you guys would tell me oh it's so hard to see you blah 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 and I wasn't very good at that at the time because I was still a new youtuber tuber and learning the routes of filming. So filming in the dark is not a good thing to do because people cannot see you or what you're doing in your video. Number seven on my list would have to be don't chew gum. Now this is a really important thing because people don't want to see you chew gum in your mouth and it's not very polite to talk with gum in your mouth and not a lot of people want to see, excuse me, Sorry, um, and not a lot of people want to see the chewed up gum in your mouth. And um, it's not a good thing to talk while chewing gum because it's very hard to, for people to understand what you're talking about when you have gum in your mouth. Number eight on my list had to be don't talk with food with your mouth full of food. So talking with your mouth full is not only rude at the dinner table, but it's also kind of rude on YouTube because you're showing people the food you've chewed up and it's not really a very appropriate YouTube thing to actually chew with, to talk while chewing because um, people can't understand a word you're saying. And also you don't wanna show people on YouTube the food that you've been eating in your mouth when it's chewed up. That's really disgusting. It's not also 
it's also it's not only rude at the dinner table but it's also kind of rude on youtube and people don't want to really see that <laughs> number nine on my list should be don't show pictures of friends or family members without their permission this is super duper important because if you accidentally <laughs> Then we catch someone on camera. An important tip is to always text them if they want to be text and ask them if they want to be on YouTube or not. If it's okay, you can just upload the video. If it's not okay, delete the video and redo it. It's really not that big of a deal. So I always like um, make sure I turn my photos over before I um, start filming. So I'm going to give you guys a quick example. So here's a picture of me riding a horse. Pretend this is another little girl that I have no idea who it is. So if, if that little girl's parents didn't want her on YouTube, um, I would turn this over so then the um, little girl, um, the little girl didn't want to be on you, won't be on YouTube. So it's a good safety hazard to make sure you have. Um, no pictures showing of your friends or family on YouTube because some of your friends or family may not want to be on YouTube. Tube. And if you just post the video without their permission, it's not only only invasion of their privacy, but it's also disrespectful of their it's also disrespectful of their um, privacy as well. So you should always make sure you film so you turn photos over before you start filming because it shows consideration for your family or friends. Number and and if you accidentally catch them on camera, make sure you ask them before you post the video. And if they're okay with it, you can just post the video. If not, just delete the video as soon as possible. Number 10 on my list would have to be don't have too much talking in the background. This is one bad habit I have with some of my YouTube videos, especially my older ones, um, I would accidentally have tons of background noise because my whole family will be talking and stuff. And sometimes I would accidentally film YouTube videos downstairs in my living room. And um, I didn't wanna go upstairs because I didn't wanna be rude if I had family over. over. And having too much talking in the background is very distracting for your viewers because they won't focus on you. They'll be more focused on the conversation rather than you. So always make sure if you're going to film a YouTube video, make sure you film in your bedroom or any room that's quiet because quiet because so much background noise can totally throw your video off. Number 11 on my list would have to be don't play on your phone. So let's pretend I'm making a YouTube video and I'm playing on my phone. I'm just like texting and not really talking to you guys. So guys, and it's not really a very interesting video. So a good tip is it's okay to look at your phone if you need to look things up. But playing on your phone while doing a YouTube video, that's kind of rude because um, people... People don't think you're interested in making a video for them as well because you're more interested in your phone rather than your audience. So if you're going to make um, a YouTube video, just make sure you don't play on your phone while doing YouTube. I mean, it's okay to use your phone to look things up. Just pause the video in between so then um, you don't have to have people sit and watch you um, look at your phone while, um, while you skim through for something like pictures and or whatnot, and uh, not because it's never really good to be on your phone while doing YouTube. I've actually have made that bad decision because back at that time I didn't have an editing program, so I couldn't cut any of that stuff out at all when I was doing um um when I was a first time YouTuber. I just really could not um cut that stuff out because I had no editing system at the time and there was no way for me to cut all that stuff out on YouTube. YouTube. So what the best tip when you are on YouTube is you never ever want to play on your phone. I mean, it's okay to have your phone if you need to look stuff up on YouTube up while you're filming a video, but looking at your phone the whole time or playing on your phone, it's just not a very good thing because it shows your audience you're not interested in making a video. So a good tip is just keep your phone 
by you just in case you need it. Don't look at it the whole time while you're filming a video. Okay, so those are my top things, top 11 things you should never do on YouTube. And if you would like to see Taylor's Laura Moon Moon's video of how to not make a YouTube how to not make a YouTube video. I mean not how what not to do on a YouTube video. I'll leave a link to her video in the description box down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye and I apologize this video is so long. Bye.